Ever wondered why integrative reviews are so crucial in research? They serve as a powerful tool, synthesizing a wide array of sources from empirical research studies and theoretical frameworks to expert opinions to give us a comprehensive view of a specific topic. Imagine a puzzle, each piece representing a piece of information, an integrative review puts these pieces together to form a coherent picture. They help identify common themes, trends, and patterns within the existing literature, providing invaluable insights for generating new hypotheses or conceptual frameworks. They also offer a cross-disciplinary perspective which is especially beneficial when tackling complex multifaceted issues. An integrative review can bridge the gap between research and practice, making research findings accessible and applicable to real-world situations. They can also highlight areas where research is lacking, guiding future research directions. Furthermore, the comprehensive synthesis of information can inform policy decisions and guide evidence-based practices across various fields. In essence, integrative reviews play a pivotal role in advancing scientific understanding, shaping policy, and informing practice. Embarking on the journey of conducting an integrative review is much like setting out on a quest for knowledge. Our journey begins with the selection of diverse sources, a hallmark of an integrative review. We don't limit ourselves to empirical research studies. No, we also delve into theoretical frameworks, expert opinions, and more. This allows us to examine our topic from all angles, ensuring a comprehensive review. Next, we center our exploration around a specific research question or topic. This serves as our guiding light, illuminating the path and directing our selection and analysis of sources. It's like having a compass in our hands, always pointing us in the right direction. As we progress, the synthesis of findings becomes our core activity. This is where the magic happens. We don't just summarize individual studies or sources. Instead, we integrate and synthesize the information, creating a more in-depth and holistic understanding of our topic. It's as if we're piecing together a puzzle, each piece adding more clarity to the overall picture. Throughout our journey, we emphasize drawing connections. We identify common themes, patterns, and relationships within the existing literature. This helps us uncover overarching concepts and trends, like finding a hidden treasure in a vast sea of information. Our journey also involves a critical evaluation of our sources. We assess their quality, relevance, and methodological rigor. It's akin to sifting through sand for gold. Not all that glitters is gold, and not all studies are equally valuable. Finally, we consider the interpretation and implications. We discuss the relevance of our synthesized information for the field of study, practice, or policy. We may even suggest areas for future research. It's like standing on a mountain peak, looking back at the path we've traversed, and forward to the paths yet to be explored. So, as we traverse this journey, we gain a comprehensive understanding of our topic, synthesizing diverse sources of information to create a holistic picture. Like any research method, integrative reviews have their strengths and limitations. On the upside, their comprehensive nature allows for a holistic understanding of a topic. They help identify trends and patterns within existing literature and provide cross-disciplinary insights. They bridge the gap between research and practice, highlight gaps in knowledge, and support policy decisions. However, every rose has its thorns. Conducting an integrative review can be resource-intensive, requiring the collection, analysis, and synthesis of a large amount of literature from diverse sources. The process also harbors a degree of subjectivity, which can introduce bias. Moreover, the quality of included studies can vary, potentially diluting the overall findings. Lastly, the complexity of conducting an integrative review can be daunting, requiring a clear research question and a well-defined methodology. Despite these challenges, the rewards of conducting an integrative review, comprehensive insight, trend identification, policy guidance, and more, often outweigh the difficulties. So, what do we take away from our exploration of integrative reviews? In essence, integrative reviews serve as a robust research tool, enabling us to delve deeper into a specific topic by synthesizing diverse sources and drawing insightful connections. Their strengths like comprehensive understanding and cross-disciplinary insights are noteworthy. However, we must also acknowledge their limitations, such as subjectivity and resource intensiveness. In conclusion, integrative reviews are a powerful tool in research, providing comprehensive, holistic insights and guiding future research practice and policy.